Before I start the video, I would like to give a massive shout out to my Patreons who have been supporting my channel. If you would like to check out my Patreon and receive early access to some very exciting videos coming soon, then please click the link in the description below. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Nerd Den here once again, and in today's video, we are going to be looking at another Reddit leak for Doctor Who Series 14. Now, of course, take this with a pinch of salt because Reddit is filled with a lot of fan fiction and a lot of people claiming to be leakers, but there is always, well I say always, there is sometimes some truth on these posts because, you know, if you cast your mind back to a year ago, there was some information about David Tennant returning to Doctor Who, not just as the Doctor, but as the 14th Doctor, and that ended up being true. So, yeah, um, with that in mind, let's have a look at this post and see what's going on. Okay, so, tidbits and story beats for Series 14, some specifics. Yes, this is a leak. I have made this burner account for the sake of sharing some tidbits on information based on Series 14. Okay, so burner account on Reddit. Hmm, okay. I feel like this is a bit of a meme, but I'll, I'll roll with it. Of course, there are some very specific details that you will have to read elsewhere that are both true and untrue, and this post will be essentially be debunking a few things that simply are not true, plus some things that won't have been heard yet. This is all the information that I have either observed myself or have passed to me from contacts in other areas of production, and is by no means 100% accurate. The same with any other leak, it should always be taken with a grain of salt, as I said in the intro of the video, in case of any misinterpretation or false information on behalf of my contacts. Alright, so with all that technical jargon being said, let's have a look at the rest of this post and talk about it. Alright, so first of all, I'd like to address that Millie Gibson's character is not on track to be a villain of the series per se, though there will be some ideological conflict with the Doctor to generate a bit of conflict in later episodes, especially relating to Albion. Ruby Sunday is not an Albion supporter entirely, but there are some policies that even the Doctor perceives as a good thing. The Space Saviour posters refer to uh, the character of Roger App Williams' uh, hollow efforts to accept alien life forms into modern society. But in reality, this is a greater plan to allow for an invasion. Different, but similar to how the Slovene infiltrated Parliament in World War III. This, to my knowledge, is not related to the slug monster seen on sets of another episode called Fine Time after the facility seen during filming at Swansea Campus. The purpose of this episode is to comment on the trend-setting attempts of apps like Bereal, which advertise authenticity, but are in themselves something of a trend that will potentially die off. Whether this critique ages well prior to the episode airing is unclear. As a general rule, Fine Time spent a lot of time criticising the fake reality inside of our phones, rather than the literal monsters walking the streets, which can be seen in filming photos when the cast are ignoring the slug monster. The filming leaks of Millie during an emotional moment where she is crying after her mother is taken away, is part of a turn left esque episode where we see how the slug creature started to strip away parts of Ruby's life, turning a dream reality into a nightmare, and is also for fine time. Albion will be a recurring thread throughout the series, in a minor way. Oh, very interesting. I wonder how they would be uh, re reoccurring though. Like, in a minor way as well? Is this like the vote Saxon thing? I don't know. Across the series, the consequences of Albion's campaign can be seen in small ways across the series, including but not limited to the unlawful and immoral treatment of alien visitors, a commentary on immigration and how immigrants are treated, specifically the episode set in Los Angeles, which many speculated to be an Area 51 story. Okay, very interesting. Uh, this from documents I have seen related to Bad Wolf Productions is true. This episode will focus heavily on the treatment of aliens in the past and will sow many seeds for Albion across the series. Other episodes relate to fear-mongering in a fake new style commentary which is hoped to age better than the long game from series 1. So I feel like, yeah, this is a more modernised 
political um, featurette, I guess, for the episode's themes and stuff like that. So, obviously, yeah, uh, Russell is creating these episodes to kind of be as modern as possible. Because, yeah, as pointed out there in Series 1, obviously the political landscape has changed. And there's enough material out there in the political climate for there to be a Doctor Who episode based on it, or multiple episodes. So, it'll be interesting how they do that. But anyway, let's get on to the rest of the leak. So, moving on from specific details about episodes, I can confirm that each episode is 50 minutes long, as in the Whittaker era, and there will be a one two-parter in the series, leaving six other standalone episodes, which will act as individual stories. Shooter Gatwa will retain David Tennant's 60th anniversary Sonic Screwdriver prop, which will have different colours to relate to different settings, as with the Capaldi Sonic. The screwdriver will change from Tenant's blue to an orange colour for Shooty's tenure. He will also have numerous different orange-red costume pieces, such as a raincoat and a beanie similar to Troughton's in Fury of the Deep, and also a more refined blazer variant of his Nanus Nanakuska coat. I am sorry if I've pronounced that wrong, and uh, which will also be accompanied by a formal shirt in one episode. His costume will remain the same palette across the series, this Troughton inspired look is where the Sun's leak of the wellies as part of the costume came from prior to filming. Oh, okay, yeah, I forgot about the wellies. But still, pretty cool that, um, you know, he'll have another variant of costume that also means more merch. Yay! Uh, the budget for each episode is estimated to be around the same as the previous Whitaker and Chibnall era, with some extra allocated budget for merchandise, marketing, and other expenses. The rumour of £10 million per episode is exaggerated. Um, I mean, I think Russell already confirmed that in the Doctor Who magazine that, well, she has to got a bigger budget, it won't be as much as was previously reported by the tabloids. It is unlikely for any major returning villains to appear in the series in major capacity, uh, with the Daleks being sidelined for a cameo role, cameo role, sorry, unrelated to the alleged one appearance per series agreement with the Terry Nation estate. Other monsters will appear as part of Albion's outreach program, similar to how RTD included cameos of the Jadoon, Slavine, and others in the end of time. One monster, one monster, sorry, fans can look forward to seeing is the K1 robot in an upgraded capacity. So, the villain, or sorry, the monster from the first Tom Baker serial uh, will apparently be appearing. I mean, that's an interesting one. I mean, I'll be interested to see that happen again. No Time Lord villains will return to the series, as RTD is looking for a clean slate in terms of Gallifrey and the extensive lore to accommodate new audiences by introducing new aliens and some recognisable faces for pre-established fan bases. Okay, right. Let's talk about this leak, because I've got a few things I want to say. Now, obviously, when it comes down to, um, you know, the leaks and stuff like that on Reddit, I am more cautious when it comes to the ones that are, like, very detailed. But uh, some stuff there I could imagine could happen. And I think, yeah, we are obviously going to get more political episodes. Well, well, I say more political. Uh, we're going to get ones that are dealing with more modern political issues and stuff like that. Obviously, Doctor Who is renowned for its social commentaries and political commentaries and political parodies as well. So I think that is pretty much guaranteed. And obviously, yeah, um, the BBC keeping the same Sonic Screwdriver prop that will obviously be introduced in the 60th anniversary this year. I'm not too surprised on that as well. Uh, the other things, though, in terms of there being no major returning villains, I don't know. I feel like that would be a bit of a crazy move. move. But then again, Chris Chimnall did that uh, with his first series with Jodie Whittaker. So, I don't know. I think it is a viable option, but I would love to see uh, Shuti Gatwa with the Autons or, you know, the Silurians or something like that. I would love to see a villain pop up or monster that pop up that we haven't seen in a while. You know, I would love to see that. But, I don't know. I'm still interested in the series regardless. Uh, but in terms of this leak being real, I'm going to go for a 4 out of 10. You know, it, it just seems a little bit too detailed in my opinion. Uh, but still, exciting nonetheless. And I love all the speculation regardless. So, yeah, with that being said though, thank you very much for tuning into today's video. If you are new around here, be sure to subscribe for more nerdy content. As we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers 
which I will have to reach by the end of this year. But I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for all the support, and goodbye for now.